you know he did everything accordingly another thing that we can notice in there is the fact that solomon built the house of the lord first the bible says in matthew 6 chapter 33 it says seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto you solomon did not say because oh i have all the wealth i have the means i'm going to build my house first and when i'm satisfied with my house then i will do the house of the lord he built the house of God first. After all, he was living somewhere. It wasn't as if he was homeless. So he built God's house first. And after that, seven years of building God's house, he then went on to build his own house. So he wasn't feeling guilty. He shouldn't feel guilty. He didn't feel guilty for, you know, building a beautiful palace for himself. Wow. Good morning, beautiful people. We're here again for Read With Me. And I also want to remind you that this is the 13th day of RCCG Worldwide Fasting. And so we're reading the scripture from 1 King chapter 7 from verses 22 to 51. Okay, so read with me. Thank you to all my returning subscribers. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. I implore you. I beg you. I ask you. I know you will. Thank you so much as you join this beautiful family. God bless you. So guys, read with me. So from verse 22, and upon the top of the pillars was lily work. So was the work of the pillars finished. And he made a mountain sea, ten cubits from the one brim to the other. It was run all about, and its high was five cubits, and a line of thirty cubits compassed it round about. And under the brim of it, round about, there were knobs compassing it. Hmm, quite interesting. Ten in a cubit, compassing the sea round about, the knobs were cast in two rows when it was cast. It stood upon its twelve oxen, three looking towards the north, and three looking towards the west, three looking towards the south, three looking towards the east, and the sea was set above upon them, and all the hinder parts were inward. And it was at a hand, breast thick, and the brim thereof was rough like a brim of a cup, with flowers of bleeding. It contained two thousand baths. And it made ten bases of brass, four cubits was the length of one base, and four cubits the breadth thereof, and three cubits the height thereof. And the works on the basis were on this manner. There were borders and borders were between the ledges. Oh, and on the borders that were between the ledges were lions, oxen, and cherubims. And upon the ledges there was a base above and beneath the lion. The oxen were, um, on, were certain additions made of same work. And every place had four brazen wheels and plates of brass. And the four corners thereof had undersetters. Under the lever were undersetters molten at the side of every addition. And the mouth of it within the chapter, it's not chapter, it's chapter, and the above was a cubit. But the mouth thereof was round after the work of the base, a cubit and a half. And also upon the mouth of it were gravings with their borders, four square, not round. And under the borders were four wheels, and the axle trees of the wheels were joined to the base, and the height of the wall was a cubit and half a cubit. And the works of the wheel was by the work of chariot wheel, the axle trees, and the nerves, and the fellows, and the spokes were all molten. Whoa! And there were four undersetters to the four corners of one base. And the undersetters were of the very base itself. And the top of the base were, was there a round compass of half a cubit heart. And on the top of the base, the ledges thereof and the borders thereof were of the same. For on the place of the ledges thereof and on the borders thereof, he grave cherubims, lions, and palm trees according to the proportion of everyone and addition round about. After this manner, he made it ten bases. All of them had one casting, one measure, and one size. Then made it ten layers of brass. One layer contained forty bats, and every layer had four cubits. 
and upon every one of the ten bases one flavor. And he put five bases on the right side of the house, and five on the left side of the house, and he set the sea on the right side of the house eastward over against the south. And he that made labors and the shovels and the basins. So he that made an end of doing all the work that he made in Solomon for the house of the Lord. The two pillars and the two bones of the chapter that were on the top of the two pillars and the two networks to cover over the to cover the two bones of the chapter which were upon the top of the pillars. And four hundred pomegranates for the two networks, even two rows of pomegranate for one network to cover the two bones of the chapter that were upon the pillars. And the ten chapter and the ten bases and the ten levers on the bases and one sea and twelve oxen under the sea and the pots and the shovels and the basin and all these vessels which he had made to King Solomon for the house of the Lord were bright bass. Verse 46 in the plain of Jordan did the king cast sorry in the plain of Jordan did the king cast them in the Clay ground between Soko and Zatan. And Solomon left all the vessels away because they were exceeding many. Then was the work of the brass found out. And Solomon made all the vessels that pertained unto the house of the Lord, the altar of gold and the table of gold, whereupon the shoe bread was. And the candlestick of pure gold, five on the right side and five on the left, before the oracle with the flowers and the lambs and the thorns of gold. <sighs> and the bowl and the snuffers and the basins and the spoons and the censers of pure gold, and the hinges of gold, both for the doors of the inner house, the most holy place, and for the doors of the house to the root of the temple. So was ended all the work that King Solomon made of the house of the Lord. And Solomon brought in the things which David his father had dedicated, even the silver and gold and the vessels they did put among the treasures of the house of the Lord. And that was the end of First King, the reading of First King chapter 7, verses 22 51. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Now, what is this all about? Chapter 10, 7 of First King. Wow, wow, wow. Looking at chapter 7 of First King, this is a scripture that I have read over a period of time, but I really don't pay much attention to it because it's just talking about, okay, this material was used to build this uh, house. They used this on the ledges. They used this beam. They used that. It was never, they were never important to me until now. But I'm reading it again. And it just show attention to details. And when you want to do something, number one, you have to be intentional about it. Number two, you need to put attention to details. In fact, number three, I'm not saying this in sequential order. You need to plan what you want to do. You need to know what you want before you start doing it so that you can put everything in the right place. And so you can see in the life of Solomon, he wasn't just using his wisdom. He was using his organizational skill and he was also using the uh, skill of attention to details that he had. Everything was done according to proportion. And, you know, every, the house was built in an exceptional manner and everything was put in the right places. He used the best materials, he used the best people, I mean he had experts to do his work for him. He didn't say because this is just my house where I'm going to live, I'm just going to do it anyhow. He knew what he wanted and he went for it and he did it. So I am saying to us, as Christian, as people of God, as individuals, you might not even be a Christian. When you want to do something, put all your mind to it. Whatever your hand found to do, do it properly. Put your mind to it, plan for it, get ready for it, and do it properly. And don't cut corners. You know, sometimes we people we cut corners because we have to rush, we can't wait. But he didn't cut corners. He used the best of the best and he took his time and he built a magnificent temple as well as build, building an unusually beautifully magnificent home and everything was put in the place as he wanted it to be there is no need for us to rush 
And that is why you must not compare yourself to anyone. When you're doing something, you know this is what you should do. You must not compare yourself. Do what you believe that God has asked you to do or what you want to do or what you desire, what you want, what you know you need. Do it. And don't let anyone hinder you or stop you. And that is what we can learn from this book of chapter 7, Attention to Details. Everything was listed out one by one. You know, every little detail was mentioned in that book. And it just is telling us that we must pay attention to details. Brother, pay attention to detail. My sister, pay attention to detail. It is very important. And I just want to say thank you. If you have watched this video to this, you know, I never thank you so much. And I will remind you again, if you're yet to follow my Facebook page, I am still alone on Facebook. And my YouTube channel is Simply Space Sue Space Follow. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one. God bless.